Uh, I really like it. No matter what time it is, there's a lot of community around here, so lots of good friends, and I really enjoy what I do in Korea. I was only supposed to be here one year. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> but every year I keep coming back. <laughs> I came here with my scholarship, so uh, because of the scholarship, I have easier to survive here because it's quite expensive to live in Korea. I try to uh, enjoy everything, to go everywhere as much as I can, and be social as much as I could, so I think I really did enjoy. Oh, I think, well, it was like quite like normal, I think, but it's just like pretty hard to live like abroad, like away from home. I sometimes miss friends, but I, mean, I think it's been like one of my best trips ever. So yeah, I did enjoy South Korea so far. Uh, I think first is like the nightlife, then the food, and then maybe just like Koreans are really nice overall, and it's a, like a really safe country, and I feel great here. Actually, something that's great is that because I'm not Korean, I don't have to live the way Koreans do. I mean, I'm free. Expectations are low, and I can just kind of live my life the way I want to. And if people start expecting me to live like someone Korean, I say, oh, you know, I do that because of American style, you know? <laughs> I'll teach you the American style. Huh. Uh -huh. Most of my vocabulary, though, is revolves around food. I gained weight coming to Korea. Thank you, Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I learned Korean first because it's important. I learned uh, to discover drama with another perspective. Korean friends and other people, when they explain me more about this country and the history of this country, that's something I learned a lot. I've learned manners for uh, old people. We have to be really respectful. Yeah, I learned the language. Ah, 안녕하세요. 저는 지오예요. 아, 프랑스 사람이에요. 반갑습니다. I feel like I've improved a lot with photography because it's a big city. I didn't live in a big city before, and I like um, street photography. So it's like perfect place for that. There's just tons of people, tons of things going on. To get used to speak to new person from different culture. I think what I will remember from this is uh, how to do and make friends with people that uh, are not from my whole culture. Oh yeah, one of my friends, my current friends threw me a surprise birthday party. I went, I just went outside to just go and throw the trash. And then I kind of ruined it, but like I saw them like bringing the cakes and stuff. So I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it was really nice. Well, I, I have a girlfriend here. Um, had a lot of happy moments with her. Uh, last Christmas was really nice because it was like first time we like really spent a lot of time together. We made like a, a Christmas wreath out of branches and stuff and that's still up on her wall right now. When I make some Korean friends, oh yeah, this was my best moment. Oh, there, there are lots. Um, I would say uh, when we hike the Bukhansan mountain, we take five hours to, to, to make it to the top and it was like really nice. Because I've been in Korea for so long, this summer I went back home uh, to visit family and I got to see my newborn niece. <laughs> so being in Korea for so long, you, I do miss my family. So that actually was the happiest thing was going back to see them again. Being smarter with my money is when I first came to Korea, I took Korean classes but I was kind of stupid with my spending and I had to stop taking classes because I couldn't afford it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> just the money's gone. <laughs> Maybe not learning Korean because like sometimes I'm just like so confused when people speak, when speak to me. When I came, I, I really wanted to go to DMZ um, and that's one thing I regret I didn't do because like I have only three days left here so that's the thing I regret not doing. I kind of... <laughs> was like mean to some people, cursing in their faces or something. Like, cause I, no, 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 it, it, there was a reason, there was a reason. But like, I think I shouldn't have reacted like that. Maybe traveling more in South Korea in general, because we just stay in Seoul and we have been to Jeju like one one week. So I would regret not to have done much more. Uh... <laughs> when, uh... When I'm on social media and you see like pictures from like family and friends doing stuff, especially around the holidays. So like now it's Christmas. Christmas in Korea is really different. 
it's more of like a couple holiday. <laughs> Whereas back, it is, it's like all romantic and stuff. But like back home, everybody's like getting ready, decorating the Christmas tree, wrapping presents. And that's, that's really lovely. Yeah. Uh, maybe the shyness of some Koreans. Because sometimes it can be pretty hard to get to know the Koreans, like to, to approach them kind of. But like maybe I think that alcohol helps. It wasn't so fun in the beginning because like because of Xiam Kigan. Yeah, it was horrible. Oh, they are competitive. My friends were kind of like, they were like jealous because like Korean history, like Yoksa, like I never got any like under 90 and they're like yeah no we're going in there like something like that <laughs> so i have a really good job i actually worked a lot more this year so because of that i actually made more i uh, used to work as a camp counselor when i was in high school then when i graduated i worked at a bank and hated it missed working with kids and a friend of mine was actually an English teacher in Korea. And I'm like, that's awesome. So again, it was only supposed to be one year. I came to teach, loved it, and fell in love with the country, and have been here. This is your personality. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the kind of like age boss hierarchy is a little difficult. Sometimes I feel like I have valuable opinions, but they're just brushed over because I'm a newer employee or I'm younger. My work life uh, is great. Uh, I work around the clock. Uh, sometimes I even sleep at the office uh, because I enjoy it so much. I like to wake up in the morning and just get to work because my mind is really fresh at that time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but the difference is I enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of Koreans don't enjoy their job, but I enjoy it. So I'm not like chained to the desk. Is more that I want to be there. I was actually surprised because before I heard that it's not that easy to make uh, friends in Korea, like Korean friends, but when I came, like, I got so many new friends, I was really surprised, yeah. Uh, because I'm also studying Korean language, I try to, from the beginning, to speak in Korean, and then maybe they start to more be more open speaking in, in English too. So we kind of exchange languages, speaking Korean and English. So I think in that way, I got more friends. When you make a lot of friends, like some of them leave, right? So I have like a smaller group of closer friends who have stayed long. Right then when I first came, there was like a lot of us who are still here. So I will say, yeah, I, networking and socializing is less than the other years. Well, at, at first it was hard to make friends just because I think it was on me because I was afraid to speak to people. But I think being a foreigner makes people more, more wanting to speak to me, so it's easier. People come to me more often. <laughs> well, like what I did is like I signed up for like the American football team in my university, so in Sogong. And so that way I was like able to meet like maybe like 15 Koreans. And so we got like pretty close and so I could say that I have like some Korean friends now, so that's nice. Socially, it's so good. And wherever you go in Seoul, there's, there are people there. If there's some activity that you love, you can find other people who love it also, for better or for worse. <laughs> if it's good or bad, you can find people here. But I think with Koreans, it's not easy to meet other Koreans. More like you have to be introduced to someone or there has to be some purpose of it. But for me, it's so easy. Um, like the festivals and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I've made a lot of other friends, but not Korean men that, yeah, Korean men don't really like black women. Black women don't really see interest in Korean men. Oh, tracing it though, something like that, but like never like, oh my God, he's a lot of my life. Nothing like that. <laughs> trying to do things for me. I'm uh, trying to work out, lose weight, do things, make my life better. I got a new dog this year. <laughs> <laughs> So going on walks and hikes and, I don't know, planning to see more places, <laughs> travel more. 2020? Yeah. Uh, it would be to run the Seoul Marathon within 3 hours and 30 minutes. That's my goal. I signed up like a week ago, actually. Wishes, good health, good health. Studying Korean University is like one of my dreams because I can study Korean, be really in Korea and in the culture. Uh, not, no plans to leave. 
Uh, I have gotten a couple job offers over the years to go back to the US. And one of them was so good as I was typing the rejection to them. I mean, I was crying, <laughs> you know, and just saying, do I really want to do this to myself? What I'm doing, I enjoy it so much that uh, I could not really take the other opportunity. I'm starting a new project to help North Korean refugees with getting jobs and also getting education opportunities. And that's the biggest thing I'm gonna do in 2020. Like I like music, I play the piano and I like singing too. So like I just wanna get more into music and also like improve more in my studies because I wanna transfer to the States later, in my last year of high school, so. Bushes, oh, make more money. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start like IVA next year, so yeah. I hope I get a good job.